Hey, what's up guys, Mitch HD here. Today I will be reviewing the ANSAT New Zealand 737-100 by InFlight in a 1-200 to scale. Check the description in case you missed anything throughout this video. My Facebook, Twitter and Instagram links will be down there. I pre-ordered this from kawa.com.au. This is my 11th 737 model and it's my first ANSAT New Zealand model. Uh, some information about ANSAT New Zealand and there's probably, yeah, there's quite a bit here. Uh, ANSAT New Zealand was a wholly owned airline subsidiary of ANSET Australia, serving the New Zealand domestic market between 1987 and 2000. When the ANSET group collapsed and ceased operations in 2001, ANSET Australia would end up being bought out by Air New Zealand, which uh, which almost bankrupted Air New Zealand and led to a bailout from the New Zealand government, while ANSET New Zealand would be bought out by News Corporation, which is the American-based news company owned by Robert, Mur oh, sorry, Rupert Murdoch. ANSET New Zealand was then sold to Tasman Pacific Airlines until shortly afterwards it became a franchise of Qantas under the Qantas New Zealand brand. Their operation space was out of Auckland, uh, founded in 1987 as stated before. Their fleet um, consisted of 27 aircraft. They had four 737-100s and two 737-200s. 3 BAE 146-200s, 9 BAE 146-300s, 7 Dash 8 100s and 2 Dash 8 300s. They served 15 destinations throughout New Zealand, um, which were Whangarei, Auckland, Hamilton, Rotorua, Whakatane, uh, Palmerston North, Wellington, Nelson, Blenheim, Christchurch, Queenstown, Milford Sound, Tianau, Dunedin and Invercargill. This aircraft's first flight was on the 13th of May 1967 and it was delivered to um, Lufthansa first on the 24th of April 1968. It was then owned by America West Airlines until ANSET um, New Zealand bought it on the 18th of May 1987. Trans-Pacific Enterprises took over ownership of the aircraft until Rov Air Enterprises acquired it not long afterwards where it was broken up in October 1995 at Pinal Marana Air Park but it was then but it was only until uh, 12 November 2013 when it was deregistered the Boeing customer code for this aircraft is 30 as it was originally bought by Lufthansa all right so let's take a look around the box here all right so there we have ANSET New Zealand a picture of the aircraft, 737-100, in-flight logo and license. Uh, this is the back of the box. This was uh, part of the, I think, think, same release. Anyway, they're sharing a box with an Avianca 737, which I um, obviously don't care about, because um, that's not what this video is about. This is the bottom of the box. This features the ANSET model. That's what Carl will put on. It's just a sticker, easily removable. Uh, it's just... Um, to show where it's from uh, and that would be the top of the box in this case uh, with again that Avianca 737 and there is the model Alright guys, the model is now out of the box, and we are going to start at the cockpit windows on the port side. That's as far as I can zoom in and keep it in focus, so I hope that's okay. Uh, we have the window wipers, uh, City of Auckland, which is the name of the aircraft, that's primarily why I bought this aircraft because that's where I live. Um, Pitot tubes and static ports A, which is the last letter of the registration on the gear door. And by the way, this is my first 737 Classic, um, which is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty actually uh, happy that this is my first um, Classic being a New Zealand um, base model. And set New Zealand titles, the inboard landing lights, and then the uh, pretty cool looking uh, Pratt & Whitney JT8D-7A. Um, 
Uh, I don't mind this. Um, the you know engine blades won't spin. Absolutely fine with me. And then on the side, yeah, obviously the same. Won't spin, but they're detailed enough. They've got you can see the, the turbines. So yeah, that's that's uh, all good. Land lights on the nose gear doesn't seem to be any. And then on the wingtip we have the red navigation light. Registration number ZKNEA or Zulu Kilo November Echo Alpha. And on the tail we have the ANSET New Zealand logo, which is also the the, the same coloured stars with the white outline that is on the New Zealand flag, which is the um, represents the Southern Cross, which is a a constellation of stars that you would um, that's uh, more easily seen in Australia and New Zealand, um, and well in the Australian and New Zealand night sky. The AP exhaust. And now on to the cockpit windows on the starboard side. There's also window wipers. City of Auckland. Um, also, also you can see these little other extra tiny windows above the main windows. Uh, just like I, th I think it was the McDonnell Douglas MD80 90 series. Um, they didn't have good coverage, you know, um, how the cockpit was designed. They um they didn't uh they weren't open enough the windows I guess um if you get that term you know that that you they really didn't have um much uh, coverage when looking up so they added those windows um you might see panels over ones for seven three seven three hundreds and four hundreds because they might have had them or or they just add added panels over. Uh, during production, but on the, the um, 737s that, that come out today, like the 700s, 800s, 900s, maxes, you will never even have these windows or even the panels um, that replaced it. But it was just it was just um, part of the design back then. All right, so we have a part of the registration on the gear door, the front cargo door, and set New Zealand titles. A really unique looking JT8D, JT8D, yeah, engine. On the wingtip, green navigation light. Registration number, the rear cargo door. And then the ANSET logo on the tail. Okay, so let's take a look underneath the aircraft. Right, so we have the nose gear, then we have an antenna, in flight 200 logo, beacon light, main gears, and the gear, uh, gear doors. Now there's no hole for the stand because obviously there was no stand when you saw inside the box. Um, even though it's, uh, you know, they've only just released it, that's completely fine. It's the size of the model, just like the engines don't spin. Absolutely fine with a model this size. Especially considering how small those engines were. Also, I just missed an antenna there as well, just a very small one. Underneath the engines and the wing flaps, that's aileron. Also, these ovals here are the panels, the access for the, um, for, you know, you, the fuel tanks in the wing. And that's, that's your. That's your uh, latch for the pressure nozzle for refueling. Same on this side with the registration number also. And by the way, the back of these engines, the reverse thrust on these, these would be clamshell or bucket type doors. So they would, just
just like the Concorde, if you saw that review, the, um, they're two metal sort of clam looking things and they slam backwards. And if any part of your body's in there, it's going to take it off. There are videos online of how, how quick these things close as well. They will take any body part off. Uh, antenna and the APU housing. Right, on top of the aircraft, anti-collision light, antenna, overwing, overwing emergency exits, flaps, lats, ailerons, and spoilers. And the same on the side. Right, on horizontal stabilizers. There isn't any logo lights. That'd be there on the real aircraft. All right, now some features of this aircraft. Rolling landing gear. The nose gear does not swivel. Obviously no tilting landing gear because uh, uh, it's, only, it's only a single uh, main, main set of wheels. All right, so since I don't have to, a stand to put it on, this will be the end of the video. I do hope you have enjoyed. Um, please leave a like if you... Uh, Look, a like if you did comment tell me what you think of this model tell me if you're going to get it subscribe for more plenty of videos on the way as i keep saying um i've got six no sorry 15 currently to unbox no now it's back to 18 because i just received three new models from jetway models um some will be happy about this i'll, I'll let you guys know now Saudi 787-9, KLM Orange Pride 777, and the Air New Zealand 777 in the new black livery. So that's just arrived, but there is, you know, more to unbox before that. And then I've got another eight models I've just been, no, sorry, nine models I've just been alerted to. It's been shipped out today from Easy Toys. Uh, so, so yeah, subscribe for more, share this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.